then uh, there I learned Chinese painting at Nanak Academy of Fine Arts under the guidance of uh, Professor Chen Shiji. And uh, I started in 2008 and uh, I left Singapore and came back to India in 2014. And for this uh, seven, you know, seven to eight years, I learned from Professor Chen Shi Chen. Uh, Chinese brush painting is uh, mainly about uh, brush, freestyle brush strokes on rice paper. Rice paper only? Yes, rice paper and sometimes silk. Any specific reason because of that or we can use any other? It, it is uh, one of the oldest traditional okay. paintings and uh, this was like uh, the ancient artists in China would either paint on silk or on rice paper. Rice paper is made of starch mm -hmm. and uh, which is compressed and made into, uh, made into paper. And the kind of paints that are used, I mean that I use and are used in Chinese painting are uh, uh, mineral colors, uh, mineral colors and uh, Chinese ink. Chinese ink is basically uh, charcoal blocks uh, which, which is actually rubbed on a stone palette with little, uh, dipped in little water. And you just rub it, and the black ink is produced. And with the brush, the ink is added. Then it is painted. Either the outline is drawn or painted with ink. And in case of uh, so there is only one uh, black color. No, the, uh, one black that is ink, ink. Chinese ink. Okay. And Chinese watercolor, uh, watercolors are also extractions of. Uh, various kinds of stones which are found in the mountains of China. So I... Yeah, yeah, let's go. Like uh, in this case, uh, first of all, Chinese painting is mainly based on nature and I'm very much interested in nature. So I paint mostly nature and also I do Indian landscapes in Chinese style. So here in this case, this is chrysanthemum. Uh, I, I observe uh, chrysanthemum in nature, how it looks like, and uh, uh, the physical structure of the anatomy of uh, chrysanthemum plant. plant. So uh, in the case of chrysanthemum, if, if you see the leaves are tiny at the top, and as you move downward, the leaves become broader and bigger. So uh, for that, uh, it again depends on how I hold the brush and how I use the brush on the paper. So you use Chinese brush also? Yes, I use only Chinese brush brushes. Okay. Only Chinese brushes? I can't use normal synthetic brushes. Okay. Then I won't get you know, that kind of, uh, this kind of uh, structure. Okay, okay. What about this? And this is a bamboo forest. Here also there are layers. Every bamboo is actually done in layers. Uh, so, uh, suppose uh, this is the painting, and uh, this is the painting of the bamboo. Here I use first the green color. Then uh, when it is half dry, then I use uh, you know, the little intense uh, green paint. And then, when it is again half dry, then I use uh, the black tea. This one? Here also, uh, I have used like this leaf, just with two strokes I have painted. So in this case, I have used a fat brush. And just with two strokes, uh, I have completed the leaf. And, and in the, I will do paint the leaf. Again, I have used different colors. It's like uh, yellow, indigo, and uh, black ink. All the three colors would give this color. 
uh, I have a job here and every Chinese artist has a different, a special job for one's own name. And uh, this job was actually made by my teacher's teacher. Okay. So uh, this uh, job was made by my teacher's teacher. So, uh, who, who, I mean, I think 10 years ago he was already 80 plus. So he had uh, made his job for me. And my name is Nandita, which has been translated into Chinese as uh, Lan Sita. So Lan means orchid, Sita means a person with uh, many good qualities. So it's, uh, it actually, in general, it means uh, a beautiful person with many good qualities. That, that's what my teacher meant. So Nandita actually means one who is delighted, so one who is happy internally. So, uh, which has been converted into, translated into Chinese and Indian. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Tell me something about the event, you personally, uh, what you experienced. Uh, what I feel the inauguration usually is with, you know, uh, guests lighting the lamp, etc. But uh, in this case, uh, it was a little special uh, in the sense that uh, there was a musician who had played santur and another musician who had played a flute and there were um, others, uh, special guests and guests who had uh, 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 given speeches uh, about the exhibition, about Luna Arts Gallery who is providing a good platform to the artists from different parts of India. Good luck for your future in the field of art. Thank so. you.